intellectual property does not exist. Hmm. Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. If you want to know more about these kind of things, feel free to contact me. And intellectual property just means trademark, copyright, and other intellectual properties. We're going to talk about this today. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, don't. Don't waste your time. So, let's start. The thing is, intellectual property, and we have the word property and also the word intellectual uh, we cannot look up what the definition is i cannot tell you now what the definition is um what definition is in the dictionary but uh, i'm going to give you a clear view what intellectual property is and why it doesn't exist so technically intellectual property doesn't exist but you need to have some proof that you have the intellectual property and i'm going to uh, explain to you what i'm talking about so you have a clear view what i'm talking about it's that simple so um first thing what you need to do is imagine you are creating something and what you are creating is something let's say um, you're creating a car and uh you want other people to use the car the design you design the car you put everything in the car and boom you have the car a car is something physical but the design of the car and how you make the car, the process, is not something that you can touch. You understand what I mean? Yes, you can put on paper how you design it and everything. Yes, but the process of how you're doing it, something that you cannot touch. You understand what I mean? So um, what I'm trying to say is the following. When you design a car and you put everything together and you have a working process, if you put those things on paper big difference if you put it on paper you have intellectual property on it like copyright okay. the thing is uh, when you register so when you register those things you have proof that you were the first one so it's about the date if you talk about copyright registration is just for the date if you talk about trademark for getting a trademark you need a registration you need to follow the progress process sorry about that you need to follow the process if you don't follow it you will not get the trademark you understand what i mean so you have different kind of intellectual property in order to get it you have also different kind of requirements but when you get it sometimes you have proof sometimes you don't have proof when you're claiming something you need to have proof that you have those right and when you have copyright it's better to register the copyright so you have the proof that you have it. Trademark, you don't have to worry about it. As soon as you register, you have a date and you have proof that you have the trademark. You understand what I mean? Same with patent. So that's the thing. But the thing is you have proof that you have those rights. But it doesn't mean it's something that you uh, have physically. That's why people say it doesn't exist. If I buy a house, if I buy a car, it's my property. Okay. And I have the car. I also have the evidence that I have the car. So it's something that I can touch. That's why people are saying it doesn't exist. You understand what I mean? Copyright, you cannot touch it. The right, you cannot touch it. Trademark, you cannot touch it. You can only touch the proof and show people the proof that you have it. You understand what I mean? So that's why people say copyright doesn't exist. So I can understand the statement and it's part of the right. But as soon as you have proof, that you have those right it doesn't exist but you have proved that you have those right and exist just means you cannot touch it physically you understand so that's what you need to look at it if you want to know more about the definition look at the in your country the rules about copyright and look specific on uh, what it means to have uh let's say copyright trademark or other intellectual property it's that simple just look it up and they will give you a clear definition of what it is. In most law, you will find a clear definition. So if you have a question about intellectual property or other things, feel free to contact me and I will see you in the next video.